So we're a week into 2019. We're not going to hit you on the New Year's resolutions. How's that going? Because you know what? There's no guilt. You can always start again. You just need a little bit of motivation to keep things going and have that healthy lifestyle. But we do, I think, importantly, need to set goals. We've talked about that. Beginning of the year is a good time to do that. So, Maggie, we want to get just a little bit healthier. Yeah. Absolutely. For the next five days, we have Anthony Cheem. He is a life coach, personal trainer, and motivational speaker joining us. It's great to have you here, Thank Anthony. you so much for having me. I'm, I'm excited. I'm so privileged and honored to be on the show and just share my truth, share my belief about physical fitness, spiritual fitness, and all these things about that encompass life and make life so juicy and beautiful. So mm. thank you so much for having me today. Now, you didn't wake up just one morning, Anthony, and go, I'm going to be a motivational speaker. I'm going to get into great shape. <laughs> There's a backstory. Mm -hmm. you, you hit some pretty dark times. Yes, you got it. Uh, back in high school, I was suspended, you know, five, six times in grade nine and grade ten. Uh, I was hanging around the wrong crowds a lot. Uh, I, I got charged with uttering a death threat, actually. I almost went to jail. I had to go to the police station, get my fingerprints done, the whole thing, stand in front of a judge. And I hit rock bottom, and I realized where I'm going is not a good place. Mm. And I had to change my environment, change the people I was hanging around, uh, change what I was feeding my mind, feeding my soul, feeding my heart. And I met a, a mentor uh, on, on my journey, and I asked him this question. I said, what do I do to change my life? And he said, where you will be in two years will depend on four things, what you read, what you listen to, what you watch, and who you hang around. Mm. And he basically told me that. And he said, all right, what do I got to read? He gave me a bunch of books. Where, where do I got to go? Who do I got to hang around? And he just kept telling me, hang around people that are better than you. What kind of books, loving. though? What kind of books? Psychology books, spiritual books, philosophy books, anything that I could get my hands on when it came to self-transformation, uh, God books, anything that, that would enhance me, upgrade my life so I could be the best possible version of myself, so I can inspire others to be the best version of themselves. So as I upgrade my life, as you upgrade your phone and computer, but we never talk about upgrading our minds, our bodies, so we can be the best version of ourselves. And it's it, usually yeah. around this time of year when we start thinking about that. Okay, yeah. we want to get in shape, we want to upgrade ourselves, yeah, we want to look great, but we also want to think healthy yes. thoughts and just be it. healthy. You and so you're going to be taking us through a journey all yes, this week. Yes. We're going to be talking about uh, spiritual fitness, nutrition, importance of prayer, exercise. What's today's focus? What are we going to be talking about today? Well, it, it's all about like en encompassing it all. Yeah. Knowing that, you know, there's that Bible quote that says, sometimes the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. Mm. But sometimes this body is willing, but the spirit can't get in. So we get, because we got an unhealthy body. So we got to work out the mind. We got to work at the emotions. We got to work out the body. We got to work the spirit. So I'm, it's all about integration. It's all about uh, making things, coalescing all the energies we have access to that so that God, love, compassion, energy, drive can flow through us more naturally. I meet so many people out there that that are weak in the body, have all these great ideas and inspirations, mm. but they just don't have the body, the vessel, the instrument for those ideas and inspiration to flow through. Mm. Well, and I know that one of the things I've thought about, and I love to exercise, yep. uh, I love to eat too, yeah. um, <laughs> yes, and, and I know that more if you put more calories in, yeah. the metal, you know, it can work out a lot, you but you it. won't lose weight, yes. but it's really in here. Yeah. You got it. I mean, the mental part of it, and then as you mentioned, the spiritual part yes. too. You got it. A, a original mentor said to me, 80% of success in anything that you do is psychology, what you feed your mind. Mm. So you could have the you could have the greatest workout, greatest diet, and I gave it to you right now there, Maggie, and I just said, here, here's the greatest diet, here's the great wor greatest workout, but you don't have a mind to exercise and to follow through. It's one thing to actually go out and exercise, but let's say you come home, you're tired, you're fatigued, you're overworked and overstressed, and your brain's saying, go work out, but then your body's going, I'm weak, I'm tired. So how can you then elevate yourself to take action, to follow through, and make your dreams come true? You, it sounds like you were in my house, Anthony, because that's exactly what I go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hard day, and I get home, and I'm like, I should go to the gym. Yeah, yeah, but yes. I'm so tired. So how do you overcome that? How do you push yourself you past that? You got it. That? And that's, that's what this week is all about. Yeah. It's about affirmation. It's about prayer. It's about feeding the mind first thing in the morning, feeding the mind before you go to sleep, uh, engaging in active prayer with your family, your friends, engaging in, in a conversation about how tough it is to follow through, engaging the conversation with, with the community, with the people, that your mentors, people that are better than you, people, coaches, trainers, people that can help you become the best version of yourself. Because as you start to hang around the people that are that are motivating you and cheering you on and wanting to, you to succeed, they're going to lift you up and elevate you. So I'm here to teach you all those, the best strategies I, I can that I personally use. I mean, I get up at 3 a.m. in the morning. I got up at 3 a.m. this morning. What? I did my prayers, did my meditation. I worked out. I did, you know, I did all these things to elevate my mind, my body, my soul, so I could show up here and, and serve your audience, serve you, serve the people abroad, and give the best of me. 
Oh, this is going to be exciting. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. well, I got up at 4 a.m. Mountain time because <laughs> yeah. I had a little yeah, bit of a yeah, time switch right. here. Yeah. But you know what? We're going to look forward to what we got going this yeah. week. Thank and you, uh, we're going to get to – actually, we'll be doing a little exercise on the set. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll be, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that ought to be interesting. Thanks, Anthony. Look forward You're to having you all week, and we'll be right back.